Hi, this is Will Wild, and I'm making this video for Harmonica.com. Uh, JP Allen's asked me to make a, a video for you guys to show you some of the, some of the tips and tricks and uh, things that make up my style of playing. So um, these days I, I play more kind of blues rock than, than just straight blues. Um, so I play play a lot of kind of fast fast licks and um, and licks that uh, are more kind of inspired by guitar players rather than uh, traditional harmonica stuff. Uh, and a, a big part of that for me is to do with licks that revolve around draw notes, uh, either mostly draw notes or entirely draw notes. So. Uh, the reason for that is that you can get a lot more uh, fluidity out of licks if if they're all draw notes and and using the the bends on those notes. Um, if you're having to switch between draw and blow a lot, like this kind of thing, you know, it doesn't have the same kind of flow to it, uh, and to me, doesn't sound quite as cool. So. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, a few licks that uh, centered around uh, draw four. Um, first one is uh, this isn't one of mine. This is just a, a kind of a standard blues lick um, a triplet. So it's made up of three notes. Uh, we've got the draw four bend, the draw four, and the draw five. And this is a D harmonica, by the way. Okay, so once again, it's draw four bend, draw four, draw five. Okay, uh, I'm doing these hand movements to try and help you out here. Uh, this is the, the way I visualize these patterns. Um, I visualize them as shapes in my head. So this one being a triplet has three notes. Uh, and I would see them as being like the three points of a triangle. So we've got the draw four bend, we come up to the natural draw four, and then across to the draw five, and repeat. So. Now when you're doing this, uh, you want to try and do it all in one consistent breath so we're not going and taking a, a separate breath for each note the entire thing is just one long uh, breath in so you need good breath control to do this <coughs> uh, try to breathe quite gently uh, and don't use all your air up at once so Okay, so the next lick that I'm going to show you is just a, a variation of that one. Um, what I like to do when I find a, a new lick or make up a new lick is to try and get as many variations out of it as possible. So uh, all we're going to do is add in one extra note or one extra beat. Uh, so instead of being a group of three notes, now it's going to be a group of four notes. So uh, I'm just going to stick a draw four on the end of that. So now we've got, okay, draw four bend, draw four, draw five, draw four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So first we had the triplet, and now we've got the group of four. Okay, so uh, there's uh, kind of infinite variations you can get out of this. So I'm going to show you a few more. Uh, <clears throat> you could kind of turn that one around. Uh, so it's the same rhythm, same notes, but this time we're going to start on the draw five. So draw five, draw four, draw four band, draw four. Okay, so it's kind of the same lick, but the other way around. 
turn the other way. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> the other thing I like to do is start adding in a draw five band as well and uh, playing around with with it all and mixing different patterns together. Uh, and then you can create a kind of um, kind of sense of odd timing. <laughs> That kind of stuff, you know. All right, I'm going to show you one more, one more variation on this. <clears throat> so this time, uh, we're going to start with that triplet lick that we started with. So draw four, bend, draw four, draw five, and then we're going to go back, draw four draw four band, and drop down to draw three. Okay, and you can loop that. So we're, we're kind of pivoting around hole four and going to the notes either side of it. Uh, that's one more cool one actually. I'll show you that one before I go. So uh, this is a really, really common lick, but you can use it in so many different ways. Uh, it's just a, a slide down from draw four to draw two, uh, but we're gonna <coughs> bend the draw four down before we slide along. So it's draw four, draw four bend, draw three, draw two. Uh, and I like to loop that one as well. Uh, you hear that on my song, uh, Paranoia. Uh, probably in a, a couple of my other songs as well. Uh, this kind of thing. <laughs> it's a good one to use when you're trying to kind of take things up a, a notch. Um, you know, if you build a solo and you want to take it somewhere where you're playing quite fast. <laughs> That's one of my one of my favorite looks, um, and you can do that same thing actually between draw six and draw four. Exactly the same thing. So draw six, bend it down. Draw five, draw four. Uh, that works good in third position. So uh, I hope you found this uh, helpful. Uh, if you did, then please let me know in the comments below, and uh, maybe I can do some more of these videos for you. Uh, also, um, please go and check out my, my band and my music. It's Will Wild, and my website is willharmonicawild.com. Um, if you'd like a private one-to-one -one Skype lesson with me, um, just send me a message through the contact form on my website. And uh, thanks to JP Allen and harmonica.com for, for asking me to do this. And I'll see you soon. Cheers.